let's pick the NVIDIA supply chain. Any thoughts around where the NVIDIA supply chain can provide an off angle bet that is less consensus than what people are talking about? Yeah, there's, there's a variety of places to think about it, right? There's also many shared aspects of the supply chains, as you mentioned, right? And different, right? For NVIDIA, as well as Google's TPU and all that, there are, it starts off separate, but as you go further and further down the stack, it's actually, well, everyone is serviced by this company, right? Like in the case of TSMC, Google's chip is made by TSMC, Intel, Intel's AI chips are made by TSMC, at least the AI, the AI specific one, not the GPU. Uh, although part of the GPU is. NVIDIA's are obviously, Amazon's are all made by TSMC, but TSMC is maybe not a great expression because of the total cost of the chip, and TSMC is only making a portion of it and they're doing really poorly in other areas. If an enterprise reallocates, hey, this 10% of people who are gonna get a new laptop no longer get a new laptop and we reallocate that to AI, which I think most people expect that to happen next year, if not more, I and mean, it's already happened to a good extent this year as well for IT budgets, right? There, there, there's obviously gonna be, hey, like TSMC is not actually the right way to play that, right? How do you express that more, right? So at first, a lot of people are doing investments into what I've deemed like the AI head fakes, right? And in some cases, it's companies who stated they have huge AI business, but then when you drill into it, it's, no, you actually don't. Who are the like, AI it, maybe top like, three to five offenders? We can call them out here, shame them publicly. You know? On the AI head fake side, there is one of the things that I've, I've mentioned quite a few times and I've broken down on, on the newsletter, as well as some more deeply in some of the client work we do, is that networking is very important, right? The cost of networking, after the AI chips you buy, networking is the second biggest cost, at least for building out AI compute, because you need to connect all these chips at very high speeds is the simple way to put it. And in this stream, all of the classical networking companies, most of them are also hugely involved in telecom. And so they're like, oh yeah, we're huge AI winners. We're huge AI winners, of course, because we're networking, but it's like, sure you're networking, but there's only a few, most of the, the uh, business is coming through other companies, right? So one example is Lumentum, Coherent, and then 2.6 uh, merged. Both of those companies were claiming they're huge AI winners. In reality, they're AI head fakes in that they claim this, but when you look at the business, it's like telecom is tanking like a rock because people aren't spending as much on telecom right now. There's huge 5G build outs, those are leveling off. Maybe there's some of these US subsidies that are going to come in that are going to help right. it for rural broadband and things like that. But really, it's telecom build outs have slowed down. Right. Uh, you claim you're going to win AI business, but it's if you're buying the vertical stack of NVIDIA, then you're not buying those companies' chips. And if you're buying the vertical, if you're going through sort of the Google Broadcom supply chain using TPUs, you're also not buying those chips, right? in any meaningful volume, but relative to the company's size. It's, if, if I'm investing in AI networking, or if I'm investing in AI as an enterprise, am I going to just continue to scale up the, and I have on-premises, right? And Cisco owns on-premises AI right. networking. If I'm deploying random, if I'm a, whatever it is, right? But the problem is if I'm going to start buying AI hardware and on-premises, that's the only way I'm going to buy Cisco, first of all, because if I go through a cloud, I'm not really buying Cisco so, too much. If you're buying networking, you're either buying it through Broadcom or, or NVIDIA or some of the supply chain downstream from there. So the, like, the winners, the not head fakes are like, in the NVIDIA supply chain, NVIDIA makes all their optical transceivers with FabricNet, right? Um, in the case of others, like who are they getting high speed optical components from or are, is companies like Inolite in China, right? Yeah, you know, these are some of the winners. Marvel has a decent bit of business in the optic side, but less on the like pure networking side. So those are some of the winners there. Broadcom, of course, and Fabernet are the biggest. And we've written about this before, I think publicly as well. 